This, it's the battle wagon. It spent more miles driving to and from the Jersey Shore than the entire cast of that show this on MTV. After 170,000 miles or so, the headlight covers were looking kind of beat, so I decided to take on the task of headlight restoration. I had seen a bunch of products in the auto parts store and thought, I could do this. Of course, I came home with a bag that did not include masking tape, so here I am masking with duct tape. Yeah, that's pretty stupid, I know, but you got to go with what you got. Run what you brung, and all I had was, was good old duct tape. You'll see why you'll want a mask in just a moment. This stuff gets everywhere. Now, I had a Black & Decker buffing thingamabob on the shelf, so I figured I'd just go ahead and use that rather than buy something new. The full-on kits, they're about 20 bucks or so. They include some sort of buffing apparatus. You can buff by hand, but it's a lot easier to do it with power. I used Mother's Plastic Polish. I think it cost me about seven bucks. Here's my first attempt. I'm definitely using way too much here. Watch this stuff fly all over the place. And yeah, my technique on this first one, it's pretty bad. The buffer goes everywhere, so don't make fun of me. I have no clue what I'm doing at this point. I learned pretty quickly that this is definitely a two-handed job. You don't want to let that drill get away from you because it can create havoc in a wink of an eye. Another reason why you want to mask out well. Now it takes a bit of elbow grease. You're going to have to go over it a couple of times. You may need to wipe down and, uh, and reapply polish, and go at it a second time. Just polishing alone isn't enough to cut through the nasty haze. On the second headlamp, I had to take more extreme measures. For this first one, I just went at it a bunch of times, wiped down with a microfiber towel in between, and you know, kind of hope for the best. But you'll see in a second here, it's just not clear enough. So you got to get more aggressive on the on the nasty, really hazed uh, headlight covers, and, and that means taking out the sandpaper. On the second headlamp, I decided to go whole hog and do it right from the start. So I began with a good cleaning using an ammonia-based window cleaner and a microfiber towel. Nothing special, just a touch of glass. We'll take a look at, at what we're starting with here. Nasty. Pretty pitted, just not, not good. We're going to go with a three-step process, 600 to 800 to 1,000 wet. Somewhere along the lines, I learned this stupid little trick to get the most out of a sheet of sandpaper. You want to get a plastic water bottle and go to town. Just pour some on the headlamp. Start sanding. It's going to take a few moments before the sandpaper really starts working. Once you've got some of that slime going, it sticks to the headlamp better, and it's much easier to sand. You want to work it around. I use a circular motion here. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I did. Try to get to all the edges, but don't scuff the paint. This is another reason why you want to uh, mask. I'm living dangerously because I didn't mask it out. Oh, well. She's gonna get a good wash after this is done anyway. As you sand, that plastic slime is gonna get drier and drier and more gritty. At some point, you're gonna to wanna to rinse it off and uh, use a towel, a microfiber, to, to wipe things down so you can see what you've missed so you can go back and hit it again. So do a quick rinse and a wipe. Take a look at the, at the plastic, see where you might not have hit it, go back and do it again, and then get ready to switch to the next paper. So we're going to go from the 600 to the 800 and progressively get finer and finer. So after you've already used the side, you can fold it inside. Look at that. And we go through the whole process all over again. So we're going progressively finer and finer, starting with a 600 grit. Now we're on the 800. We'll rinse this off in a minute or so, and we'll switch to the 1000. A little less foggy, but you're still seeing some scratches. We're gonna switch to the 1000 now. All right. 
right, we're just about done with the thousand grit. We're gonna give it a wipe down and a rinse and uh, another wipe and it's time to switch over to using that buffer again. We'll do this a little bit different and put the plastic polish on the buffer instead of right on the headlamp cover this time. See if we can cut down on some of the, uh, the overspray. Go at it nice and easy. Two hands on the buffer. Once you've covered the, the lens and it's starting to get a little sticky, then you can begin to crank the speed up and really get some of that, that haze out of there. Gonna take a lot more polish than that, huh? You'll probably have to hit it with a buffer two, three, or more times. Just keep working it over, keep that buffer moving, and uh, in between wipe down, get a good look at what's nice and shiny and what's not. Lather, rinse, repeat. Eventually you're going to get to the point where good enough really is good enough. You're just going to get bored of doing it and say, all right, one last wipe down and we're done. So that's about all there is to it. Now this is the first time I've ever tried this and I think it came out pretty well. If you've got hazy headlamps, I hope that this little piece inspired you to go out and polish your own. Remember, for more reports, reviews, and crazy, wacky, off-the-wall stuff like this, come to MPG-O-Matic, where mileage matters.